Um, the, the calendar you see here, um, this is kind of the, the main tool that we use other than our newsletter on helping keep people stay on track with what they're doing. Um, but there's a lot of information. So what I want to do is I actually want to break this down and just kind of deal with lawns in the first seven months of the year. Okay. Um, so when you break down the calendar, the first seven months are pretty much the same. Um, we have, as you see in uh, January, April, and June, there's that yellow color. Okay. Um, that's, that's a pre-emergent and a fertilizer mix that we're using. Um, the, the fertilizer is a two to two and a half month release fertilizer, just maintenance fertilizer, keep things green, keep things healthy. Um, we also have blended in a pre-emergent with that though. So the pre-emergent that we use there is going to prevent your weeds from germinating. You know, a, a pre-emergent, you put it in the ground um, and as you water it in, it sets a barrier in the soil. And that barrier activates over about a two-week time span. When a weed seed lands on that barrier, it prevents it from germinating. So they only have about a 90-day residual on that particular pre-emergent. So we put it on, again, almost every three months, um, that first part of the year, to keep that barrier active and to keep those weeds out. I like how you guys have the, uh, the elements in there, you know, like how to remind people, by the way, this is the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, mnemonic devices help. Now this so. is uh in in this right here I can go to your store on Landco right mm -hmm. and say you know hey uh, let me let me take a look at this and and y you have those available for everybody right absolutely okay yeah they're also on our website all right all right let's go um, to the so um, that would be January and then in February we remind people use the soil lab you know okay. that's one thing you don't have to do it in February it's a good time though getting ready for springtime. Um, get everything kind of dialed in, get that soil prepped, not only for the plants, but the um, soil pH, what we're checking in the lab, is also going to impact how well those fertilizers and pre-emergence work. Okay. Um, so really important there. And then in March, you see the 72020 fertilizer. Now, that one is high in the phosphorus and potassium, that middle and that last number. That one is kind of kind of be a root stimulator, give the grass a jolt, get things green, get things healthy, get things coming out of the dormant period. And then again, in April, we have your 2510 pre-emergent, and we have the gallery. Um, gallery is a specialized pre-emergent for spurge. Okay. Um, some of your broadleaf weeds, when you're dealing with your pre-emergence, the, the crabgrass weed, I think we have a picture on the, the next slide with the crabgrass, that's going to be what your pendimethalin, the 2510, is going to prevent. And then we go to the gallery, and that's going to be more for your spurge, your broadleaf weeds. So that kind of gives you the first six months, seven months. Um, right. You're really only doing four things, you know, a pre-emergent in January, April and June, and your fertilizer in March. And, and Bermuda is like the kind of the grass of choice seems like here. Yeah, and that would be the middle track and the last track. Okay. A lot of people let the Bermuda go overseeding, which is what a lot of folks are doing now with that winter ryegrass. Right. And then the bottom track is folks that are going to let the Bermuda go brown, take the winter off. Okay. And then that top track is for folks um, with your fescue, your ryegrass lawns, lawns that are green all year without the overseeding. Okay. So those are your first seven months. This is really helpful stuff because, you know, I mean, I mean taking care of Bermuda, I mean, that, there is a... I mean, it's beautiful looking, mm -hmm. and it's reasonably, you know, it doesn't take a lot of water to keep Bermuda happy, I guess, right? Yeah, most lawns require about two inches of water a week in the summertime, mm -hmm. and then about a half inch of water a week in the wintertime. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, and that would be a Bermuda, a fescue. Some of them are more tolerant, like a Bermuda. Yeah. It's going to thrive with two inches, but if you're watering an inch and a half, it's going to live. It's going to be if okay. If you tried to do that with a fescue, you might not have a lawn. Right, right. Okay, let's go to uh, what do we what do we yeah. have next? So uh, I think the next was actually a picture of the spurge, the weed that your uh, gallery right. is going to prevent. Right. A lot of people recognize that one. I've so, seen that actually plenty of times. Yeah, yeah. So the next picture is going to be the last six months of the year. Um, and you can kind of see this is where things get a little bit different. Your middle track is the one that a lot of folks are doing now, the Bermuda that they're overseeding. So you see we have the overseeding dates, September 21st to October 15th. Fair time. Yeah, fair time, exactly. And then after you get that overseed down, you let it um, come up, you let it get established, and then in November, you put your pre-emergence on again, um, the 005 and the gallery. The 005 is going to be a prevention for a weed called Poana, um, and then the gallery is going to be for some of our winter broadleaf weeds. And I think in the next picture, I actually have a couple of the Poana, that little white seed yeah. head. Um, sometimes it comes in the lawn, sometimes it comes up in a, just a clump, um, which would be right here. And then the broadleaf weeds that we're providing um, protection for in the winter are going to be the burr weed. Um, that's that one with that nasty sticker on it. You go out in bare feet, and you definitely would know you have that one. Um, parsley peart, which is um, actually in the rose family. Um, so again, we have to use that gallery, specialized pre-emergent for specialized weeds. And then uh, wild carrot. Um, so when we're using more than one pre-emergent, we're trying to get a, a fuller range, a fuller spectrum of control. A wild carrot is a, is a weed then, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 
uh, really hard to kill weed. Um, there's nothing worse than the, the goat head one, though. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, one. I get those on my acre quite yeah, often. Yeah, that's a terrible one. And again, that would require the gallery pre-emergent, that broadleaf weed. Um, but on the, we'll go to the bottom track. That's going to be the folks that let the lawn go dormant on a Bermuda grass. Okay. They can put their pre-emergence on as early as August and then again in November time. Um, again, they can do that August application because they don't have to worry about overseeding. The folks that overseed, you know, they can't do it because that pre-emergent is going to prevent the winter ryegrass from going that they'd plant a couple months later. Okay. Um, and then the fescue lawn is going to be almost an exact mirror. Um, you know, the pre-emergence in August, they do a one more shot of fertilizer in October to help prep those lawns for the winter, the frost, the freeze damage. And then in November, December time, you can kind of see that fertilization and continued pre-emergent application. Okay. All right. So that covers kind of the lawns. Um, the next thing we have on here is going to be the breakdown on um, care for trees, ornamental shrubs, and a watering guide. Okay. So when you're watering, um, we kind of just have on here a reminder, as the seasons change, so does your water output. In the wintertime, you need about a half inch of water a week. In the summertime, you need about two inches of water a week. So as you know, spring, you see one inch, fall is an inch and a half. Um, and we actually have information at the store. Again, you said we like educating. Right. Help people dial in. What is a half inch of water? Yeah, what does that mean? What does that like for, you, for, your, for your sprinklers? I mean, do you help them set that up as far as saying, here's, exactly, a, here's exactly. a time it's going to take? To you do actually that? have to measure. You take some uh, cans, tuna cans, cat food cans. We have little uh, sprinkler gauges you can stick out in the lawn. Yeah. You flip your sprinklers on, and you actually measure what your water output Put is in a certain amount of time to okay. figure out how much do I need to water per week. Okay, um, and those are things that at the store, complicated things. Can I would never, in. I would never ever hear that from uh, one of those large facilities. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, you come on down. I can, I can show you how to do. There that. There you go. Okay. Um, and then uh, just in the ornamentals and shrubs, you know the the seven twenty twenty fertilizer every four to six weeks throughout the growing season, just a kind of a continual feed. Um, and then the pre-emergence you see there in January and July called a maze. That's a specialized pre-emergent for just the flower beds. Some folks will just use the lawn flower, the lawn pre-emergent and the flower beds get the crossover. Other folks want to use something specialized. That would be the maze. And then uh, April we use the gallery again. That spurge prevention is really imperative that April time because that'll germinate in April and go all the way through to September. So if you don't get that on, um, you're going to have a lot of spurge. And then the tree care um, we see in January where we deep root feed. Um, and you'd only really do trees once in January, except for citrus, which we have noted in April and August where we fertilize those three times a year. But for most of your trees, it would just be a one a year application. Right. Okay. Um, and then again, use the soil lab. Um, we have that reminder throughout the entire thing, because that is going to be one of those linchpins. If I'm going to use a soil lab, too, I'm going to bring you a sample of soil. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You take right. like a one-inch plastic PVC pipe, you stick it in the ground six to eight inches deep, pull that dirt out, and bring that into us, okay. and we'll take care of it from And you there. Get, a, get, a good, uh, get a good understanding of what's in the ground that you exactly. got to deal with. Okay. Exactly. All right. So that's just kind of a, an overview of this, because um, again, the newsletter that we give out will coincide with each of those calendar events, and that's going to give the details, but we found that this is just a really good reminder um, just to kind of orient people and go, oh, that's right, pre-emergence and fertilizers. And um, so just kind of an explanation of what each of those means, why we're doing it at those times. Okay.